life of me, I can't imagine how American illustrator Walter Harrison Cady has remained so deeply buried until now. He was born in Massachusetts in 1877, and in his teens he became an apprentice to a local artist, where he began learning about drawing and painting. But a year later his father died, and the loss of the family breadwinner forced Cady and his mother to move to New York where he managed to find work assisting in the art studio. He was an illustrator who uh, came up as a uh, self-taught artist. He sort of cut his teeth in the editorial world and learned how to create images through working around strict deadlines and trying to uh, produce an image that would communicate a message quickly. When Harrison Cady eventually made his way to Rockport, he was really influenced by a lot of the landscape painters that were, that were calling this area their home. Fold, um, in every issue. It was a weekly, and uh, Charles Dana Gibson often did the centerfold. He was the, the big star illustrator of his day. And Harrison Cady was the other. And these were jam-packed with detail. I joked to Josh Amiel that really readers needed a magnifying glass to appreciate all the detail. And so they obliged by in one of the deluxe editions, you actually get a magnifying glass built into the the uh, bookcase. 